hey guys welcome back to my channel so today is the day that i hand in my keys for my old place so i literally just came because i still have a few more things in the room like the plant there like that rug and then this so i just came to make sure that you know things are sorted handing back the keys and then my dad is going to come and help me take out these stuff someone is going to come and pick up that rug and then i'm just going to get rid of the rest of the stuff and he's going to take the the plant but i wanted to you know vlog this moment because it's literally like the last last day in the flat tomorrow is a new month when the, the lease would renew and everything so today is literally the last day to like return the people them key and yeah i think since i'm here as well why not just show you guys like the place and give you like a rundown tell you guys where i live how much i paid for like the rent like stuff like that just in case you're looking for like a place as well and you know i know before when you move in people were asking like where and stuff so i think since i'm moving out it will be good to like share this information with you guys and tell you guys a bit more about the facilities that's here and all the extra stuff the window is open around there so it's a bit noisy i'm gonna close that in a bit anyways i'm gonna show you the room like empty so this is gonna be an empty house tour type of thing plus like the facilities and all of that once my dad is here he's bringing me some seasoning as well which i cannot wait for some jamaican seasoning um so yeah he's gonna come and help me so let me just do that before he arrive just before i give you like a tour of the place sorry if the thing is like echoey i'm gonna just tell you a few details about like the place where i live rent all of that i lived in ilford so that's ilford essex and the building is the picture house building it's very close to the station ilford station which is the elizabeth line zone four very close to stratford as well and the rest of like east london moving to the building when the flat first opened so we're one of the first tenants in this house the rent now is about 1580 something pound i think that doesn't include bills bills are separate and i think that's all about area they do have quite a few facilities which i will try and show you guys i will see if the security guy can bring me down there and show you but everyone is so so lovely they have really good facilities like i said one of my favorite was the gym you guys saw me use the gym and stuff all the time but the other facilities i didn't really like care about anyways this was my room it was this one size room it fit like my bed a side table and also like a desk and on there i had like a gallery wall in there as well this is what it looks like my bed was there and then i had like a side table it only fit like one side table so it's not like a massive massive room and this is what it looks like and it has like floor to ceiling window and cross there i think it's like the bt bill it's such an ugly building um but this is what that looks like and then each of the room of course it comes with like built-in closet and these huge mirror which i really really do love inside of the closet it's a lot of space in there for a normal person who have normal amount of clothes i didn't really have that much clothes so i try not to like collect loads of shit that i'm not wearing so you have like just one pole and then over this side i had like a little storage thing and I then i had some storage for my shoes as well up here i think though is like such waste of space so i only had like jeans folded up there and stuff it was too much waste of space so yeah this is basically the room it's not much to it to be fair i don't think i tell you so the house is the echo is like killing me so the house is a two bedroom two bath sitting room and kitchen that i didn't really tell you that at the beginning so yeah quick spin off my room and when you turn here this is the front door of the room and the door that's here it's the utility room so once you go into the utility room you have like your machine and then you have like the internet box and you have a few storage here which i'm gonna switch this off i think um yeah let's switch that off and let's switch that off so yeah this is the utility room you have decent size to it because we did pack a lot in there and we have like this long hallway which we didn't really decorate or anything i just have like my stuff there so you have like this space at the front and then you have this long hallway. You do have like this intercom system so people downstairs you can see them from here and let them in through the door. The door here is my bathroom so you have a family size bathroom and you also have like an end suite which I'm going to show you in a bit. 
So this was my bathroom. I absolutely love this bathroom. So, so nice. And yeah, it's quite massive, clean, everything. Which was really nice about it. Let me just close that. Quick run through again of the bathroom. I really love the bath. Um, at my new place, I don't have any bath, but that's fine. The shower is so, so nice. Like the power and everything is so nice. And you have like a storage thing up there and you have like loads of cabinet space, like these really nice mirrors. I'm a bit short, so I can't really see in them sometimes. So yeah, <laughs> this is the space in the cupboard. And then you have like another one over here as well. Okay, oh, I need to take this off the door. Oh. Remind me, I need to take that off the door. I put my robe on there before and I was trying to remove it when I was moving, but I just couldn't. Okay, so after my bathroom that is here, go straight there. That was my roommate's room. This is the end suite. And this is what this one looks like. Let me turn the light on. So yeah, this is what this one looks like. It's like a quick spin. Like the shape and everything is like all different. And then once you turn around here, it's the same like mirror situation as well, which is, yeah. And then you have like these stuff up here, which wasn't in there, which need to be off. This side here is the bathroom of the end suite room. Again, it's a smaller bathroom than the one there, of course. Is the one that I had is like a family room. So coming out of this room and you go this way is the sitting room and the kitchen. I don't know why the heating is on, but let's turn that off. Um, sitting room and the kitchen. So really love the sitting room. I think what sold us was like this pole here and the fact that the kitchen was tucked away, but it's like a really decent sized sitting room. like. So, so decent, like if you spin and everything, it's like really, really nice. Come this side is the kitchen. Really nice kitchen as well. Around here. And it have like those spotlights underneath the countertop, which is really good. Oven, induction hub, a few drawers. Drawers and what's this? Yep, yeah, this is like a cupboard space. We had like a under storage bin situation type of thing. Loads of cupboard space, which was like super super nice. And yeah, I think this is basically the empty flat tour. Uh, since I'm moving out, so this is the lounge area, but I don't think our keys work on here because you kind of have to book. Yeah, so I don't think it worked on there. So I'm going to show you the rest of the area and then I can come back and ask them to give me access to, to that one. Oh, you have people in the other part. Okay, you have people in the other part. So, so let's just leave them alone. I'm gonna want to get in on the body way. I'm gonna show you the gym quickly and then ask the guys if I can sit along. The other area, people, they're nice. So let's just leave them. the gym hopefully no one is in there yeah, you have people working out in the gym so i'm gonna try and give you like a quick like run through but this is like the yoga area um normally i come in here and just work out because it's a bit like separated so you can just do like your quick workouts and stuff and then i will show you the other area Just like a quick run through at the gym when I'm getting on a body weight because it's so awkward, you know. <laughs> but anyways, yeah. So I got into the workstation and the lounge area. I probably should call. Let me call my dad quickly and tell him to me I come. Um, and then. So when you come in, this is what the workstation looks like. Hello, may I come? 
All right, all right. Yeah, this is what the workstation looks like. I don't think I've ever showed you guys this on my blog, did I? Somebody in this at work. And then this is what around here looks like. You have like a bathroom there. And then you have like these little cubicles, which is quite nice. And it have like the vacant or if you're in use or whatever. And then you have like this little table for like meetings and stuff for if you want to work there which is quite nice absolutely love this decor apparently this is not i think they might do construction in a size something yeah so this is like let me turn on the light huh. i don't know where the light is guys i don't know where the light is oh Okay, got the light on. So this is like the kitchen slash event type area. And this is basically what it looks like. Which is really nice. We did really use, well, I did really utilize this space. I'm not gonna lie. So you can normally come up here and have like events and stuff. And then over there you have like the kitchen. So they could bring food, all that type of stuff. And they could host. You have like a coffee machine here as well. You have like those bar stuff. I don't know why I always thought you have like microwave and oven coffee i think someone was up here because you have some coffee in it so you have like kettle and then in the jewel you have like utensils and stuff i think yeah you have a few bits in there and i think that's the fridge so yeah this is basically what this part looks like and again the workstation part someone is using that one if you can see yeah so that's basically it someone is currently in the games room so i won't be able to show you that because it's not just one person it's more than one so let me just leave them and play them games so basically in the games room you have like a massive tv and then you have like a ping pong board and stuff where they can play that normally events take place in there as well it's really really nice don't normally use it but anyways let me go to the car park because i need to Get my keep running away from me some time now. So let's do that. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, so I'm at the car park. You have like a bin store here. It's a bin store and then you have a car park. Normally for the car park you have to pay. So they have like that donation thing as well. I just donated some clothes there. I'm gonna always like throwing away stuff, which is quite easy. So normally you have to pay monthly for the car park. I think it's like a hundred and something pound. I don't have a car, so many of us really worry about that. But I'll come in and come take pictures sometime. Um, oh, my lift my umbrella. But yeah, this is basically what it looks like. Just a car park, like nothing special about it, you know? Well, I need to leave the rug downstairs. I don't know if I mentioned to you guys that we have like a concierge. Um, I'll try and show you like the lobby area. So we have like a concierge. I'm gonna, she said it's fine to leave the rug down there for for them to come and collect tomorrow. So I'm gonna do that. And my dad said I should just bring the stuff. I don't know why I never think of that. Just bring the stuff from down the game. Probably because me that thinking could I help me with the rug. But I'm gonna bring the rug down first. I don't have anything to put in in my room. I'll ask her. Probably she can do it for me. And then I will message and just tell him to come collect it tomorrow. I'm going to do some cleaning up real quick. Just to kind of like make sure everything is in place and it's not like...
sure we do something. Let me just turn on the light. Come back up for these two bits that I have been. Literally the last day in this property. So I've moved out all the stuff now, so it's completely empty. Everything is sorted. My dad is gonna go to Stratford, so I'm gonna take the opportunity to go to Stratford with him. Um, he's gonna get food, so I'm just gonna do that quickly. Goodbye, place. You've been good. Goodbye. <laughs> bye, 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 bye. Is that how you meant to say bye to a place? I'm gonna say a proper goodbye now, so let me go say my goodbye. And then we're gonna head to Stratford, get some Jamaican food. to show you guys the lobby sorry the man away for me <laughs> I forgot to show you the lobby area but they're gonna send me all like deposit form and like meet readings and stuff like that which is good to say that we don't have to worry about it they will do like a checkout farm type of thing so that should be really really good and yeah I'm gonna go to Stratford now to get some joint and food feed my face I wanted to go to Sainsbury's to get like a bottle of wine but we can't do without the wine tonight. Um, we just have to get the food and enjoy. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. Enjoy. I'm finally back home. I came back with one ear pod. I can't find the other ear pod. Um, so I need to dig up another bag and see if I can find it. Fingers crossed I don't leave it at the house. But anyways, I am back home. I have a parcel. I ordered some food from Gusto. So I need to pack out this ASAP because it's been outside from about after three today. So I need to, I can't do this, can I? <laughs> I need to just um, pack it out. It's literally right here. Oh. I've never really tried, is it Gusto? I've never really tried them before. I've done Hello Fresh, but um, I was told about this one to try it. So I'm gonna try it and see. Um, I got about four meals in here. Let me just unpack this. Let me put you guys right down here. Let me turn on this light. Maybe it will give better lighting. It's not better. I have my somewhat prone here. I did order like extra food. So I'm going to eat that. Let me get the scissors. Okay, it come well packaged actually guys. Yeah, this come well packaged. Whoa. Let me show you. So this is how this came packaged. I think this is like a... Let's see what this is. I don't know, some recipe in there oh this is great i can actually try these meals like if i don't know what to cook they give you some recipe i think i'll look through that in a bit what's in here let me put you guys down here your dinner adventure starts here Oh, I think this is like all the seasonings that you need. I like the way the package there is. So this is all the spices that you need. I think you have garlic and this is the pasta. Breadcrumbs. Oh, wow. You get like a wooden spoon as well. 
this is great this wooden spoon literally matches like that wooden um this wooden board that i have like look at that perfect that's great that's really great i love that so now i have a wooden spoon those are veggies that i need to put in the fridge and stuff that they give to you it's just caught on a premium on top of it so it's basically like yeah it's really good i love this i'm like an onion on many for finishing it anyway this is like the mini fridge over this side actually freeze this and reuse it that's cool so I got me some fish did I order fish I don't remember ordering a fish meal did I order fish I can't remember ordering any fish meal anyways I got chicken Fish and chicken. I can't remember ordering any fish meal. Anyways, guys, I think these two meals has fish in it. I didn't realize. But anyways, these are the meals that I ordered. This is like a chicken jafari with jira rice, whatever that is. Guan style balsa and spring green curry with coriander rice. Cheesy broccoli pasta. And then this is like a um, soup type of thing. My dad gave me some um, some seasonings, which he gave me loads of seasonings actually. So let's go through the season then, when we mean. So we have like this barbecue sauce. He gave me one of this the last time, and it was so so good. And I use it on the chicken, like literally so good. Um, what is? I don't know what season is this. I don't know what the seasonings are. I don't know, this is paprika? I don't know. No, that couldn't be paprika. I think this one is paprika. That one is paprika. I don't know what that one is. This one is chicken, of course. Um, loads of pimento. Um, I don't know what they mean. You have this one. You want to help me out? If you don't know what them season you make me know. I'm a can call him and ask him. You have this one and then you have the one here. This one is black pepper. So it looks like this. So I don't know what this is. I don't know what this one is. And I don't know what this one is. So let me know. So you have one, which is the one here. The color here with kind of like a brownish color. And then this one. I don't know what they mean. Well, I'm going to know the paprika, the chicken, and some pimento seed. And then they give me loads of curry powder, which I, which I did run out of. So that's good. So I can make some curry. It'll give me some better pack curry powder. So that's good. And of course, I'm going to paprika. I ordered some thingies from Amazon yesterday and they're coming tomorrow some seasoning container i already have like these ones but i'm gonna change them to like the shaker ones so i order some from amazon so i'm gonna just organize like the seasons and stuff tomorrow and then we can put some of these in it as well i also did get like they, they come with labels actually they come with labels so that's for oh tomorrow i can sort this out i'm just gonna put it up here for now and then we can organize that tomorrow okay so we can start that out tomorrow um talking about tomorrow i'm planning to go to ikea um i need some storage baskets and some other bits 
So I'm gonna go to Ikea and I'm gonna take you guys with me. So stay tuned for that vlog. I'm probably gonna end this one now because I don't know how long it is. So I'm gonna end it and I hope you guys did enjoy. Oh yeah, I didn't tell you about the food, the food that I had. So me and my dad, we went to this Jamaican restaurant. It's called Caribbean Flavor. Um, really nice food. We had food there when I was moving as well. That's where we went to eat. And we just, I had like a curry goat and white rice with some coleslaw. And then we just eat, that's another car. And then in bit of like jerk chicken with rice and peas. I didn't buy oxtail as well. And yeah, we just had that's another car. And then I remember the last time, I remember like, Couple, either like a couple months ago, yeah. I remember a couple months ago, he got me like this prawn and I asked him like where the prawn is from and it was from the same restaurant. So he got me some of this, which I'm going to warm it up and eat it. Like literally, I think it's like a sweet and sour kind of prawn or spicy or something or kind of curry prawn or something. But it's really good. It have like mussels in there as well. So I'm going to dive down in that and enjoy that in a bit. So yeah, food was really, really good. I'm happy I did ask him which part he might go because he said, oh, I'm going to get some food. I'm so yeah, going to go to Stratford. I'm going to end up getting the drive to Stratford too. Anyways, I am going to love you and leave you and I will be sure to catch you in the next one. Please be sure to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. If you have any questions that you'd like to know or ask, leave it down in the comment section. I'll be sure to get back to you. Please be sure to follow me on my TikTok as well. Um, I try to post there every single day. And not so much on Instagram, but you can follow me there as well. And subscribe if I haven't said already. Subscribe. And I will see you in the next one.